Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another week in my life. It is a Monday morning and I am taking my vitamins, getting my coffee ready. I'm about to start getting ready for my urgent care clinical. Um, it's going to be a pretty busy week. I have clinical today. I work tomorrow. I have an off day on Wednesday, which is nice. And then I have a clinical Thursday and Friday, and then I have the weekend off. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, yesterday was my final checkoff. Those can be pretty nerve wracking. Um, if you guys don't know, um, in NP school, at least for my NP school, we do checkoffs for each um, clinical semester. So this is our third one. And your clinical instructor basically has you sign up for a time to do your checkoff and 15 minutes before that time they email you a like patient scenario so let's just say like you know joe smith 47 year old male um presenting with right hand numbness and tingling for the last eight months and then that's basically what you got right there so you basically get like a little bit of a history and then you had that 15 minutes to kind of like think through it look through your resources figure out if like you know what the diagnosis is and then y'all will hop on zoom at your um, scheduled time and then you basically run through a whole entire visit so basically you have to go through like you know are they learning oriented times four are they a reliable resource what's their chief complaint family history social history um, have like a full HPI, allergies, um, what medications do they take every day, what's their medical history, surgical history, um, and like literally just everything. And they need to do a review of systems. So, you know, talking about like, I basically just go from head to toe so I don't forget anything. So like, you know, headache, ear pain, sore throat, cough, chest pain, belly pain, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, you know, dysuria, musculoskeletal pain, muscle aches in your leg, you know, things like that. So let's just say like carpal tunnel was a diagnosis so like i would do like the tunnel sign where you're tapping on the median nerve or the um, the phalen's test just like things that you learn um in your assessment part of schooling and you perform everything and then you know your person walks away and then they give you a little few minutes to like go through all your stuff because they you're expecting to tell you um like diagnosis first line treatment pertinent positives pertinent negatives um, differential diagnoses, um, what's the education you're going to provide, what's the follow-up, are there any referrals. So it's literally just like a giant soap note, but you're doing it talking to someone and basically like performing to them that you can do well on these assessments. So yeah, I mean like it, it could literally be anything like carpal tunnel is just an example, but like back pain or knee pain or new onset hypertension I mean it literally could be anything you have no idea what scenario you're getting until 15 minutes before your time to sign up so I did mine yesterday and um, I think it went well um, and then once you finish your actual assessment portion you have to actually submit a soap note so fill out a whole entire soap note with everything that you ask the patient you cannot put anything on there that you did not ask you know your instructor um, and then you basically fill out um, your diagnosis, you know, first line treatment, education follow up, that kind of stuff, referrals. And then you do like a little reflection at the end of it to kind of like talk about how things that you did well, things that you didn't do well, how could you improve later. So, yeah, those are always like super stressful to me. I just like, it sounds funny. I hate being on camera with like a person behind it, like critiquing what I'm doing. Like, this is fine talking to a camera, posting a video, like, it's super fun. But like, the nerves of like wanting to get the diagnosis correct and like basically performing that you can be a good provider and like showing them what skills you know it could just be a little nerve-wracking so I'm just so happy that's that's done so um finished that yesterday that was like a huge weight off my shoulders that was like the last big thing to get done besides like one more assignment and then I literally have five more days of clinical until I'm done with NP school so it's just crazy um, so yesterday after we did that check off, um, we went to a bar and watched the Dallas Cowboys game. Uh, we lost unfortunately, but it was really fun to go with some friends and hang out and just like have a beer and just relax for a minute. Um, we came back last night, went to bed, and then here we are Monday morning going to start our week of clinical. So I figured it'd be fun to take you guys along 
with my week in my life talking about my urgent care clinicals and my day at work and what we'll get up to on the off day so yeah welcome to the vlog um i guess i never said my name my name is laney i um, am 27 years old i vlog my life talking about nursing um in p school i like to film stuff about traveling books lifestyle i do lots of newly unboxings that kind of stuff and I'm actually going to have a fun little like everyday makeup routine I'm posting soon. So I'm sure you probably see that one before you see this video. But yeah, so if you like this kind of stuff, feel free to like and subscribe. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make my coffee, head to the bathroom, start getting ready, and then we will go to urgent care. Okay, y'all, my urgent care shift is done. It is 7.53, so I get to leave a little bit early and start making the 30-minute trek back home. I am excited to be home to eat dinner and relax. I do have to work tomorrow, so I need to be in bed at a good time to um, get ready for that. But um, it was a good day at the urgent care. It was quite busy. Um, the theme of the day was eye infections or just like eye redness in general. Literally, they all woke up with like one eye hurting and then they just came in so it was just like you know it's a fine line between convincing someone that uh they just have a viral conjunctivitis as opposed to bacterial or allergic or something like that they all want antibiotics everyone wants the antibiotics and so it's uh really frustrating as a student trying to explain to them the reasoning why they don't need that antibiotic and then when my preceptor goes in to talk to them they tell them they want an antibiotic and so she gives it and so it's just really frustrating to you know go through all the schooling and have all this knowledge and then for them to not really like listen to what you're saying and they want what they want they just kind of come in with you know an idea of what they're going to get so it's very frustrating so i'm trying to navigate that accordingly um but yeah so and there's a lot of covid positive patients today so um lots of covid lots of um, eye stuff and then um, we had a finger avulsion come in. Um, he caught his finger in his lawnmower and shaved off the, um, like basically like the pad of his finger. Um, no bone was exposed, so that's good. Um, but we just did a digital block of his finger so he couldn't feel it, washed it out really good, put some zero form, wrapped it up, and then gave him a referral for a hand surgeon to see this week, um, just to kind of like see how he does, so. All overall, a interesting and fun day. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my trek home now and um, eat dinner, relax, go to bed, and I go to work tomorrow in the ER. Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Let's get it popping. I am awake and ready. I am going to the ER today for my shift. It is about 6.15 in the morning. I'm about to take my vitamins real quick. And then I think I'm gonna stop on the way um, to get some Starbucks to treat myself before my shift. Um, they have the new holiday drinks out now and I think they have this like gingerbread chai drink that I want to try and then just get some breakfast and head to work so we will see how the day goes good morning happy Wednesday it is my off day I have been up since about 8 o'clock this morning so it was nice to sleep in um, I did not talk to you guys yesterday about my shift, but it went pretty well. Um, I was in what's called like the team lead position. So obviously it was just like the nurse floating around the whole entire department the whole entire day. So you respond to like all the trauma activations, um, ambulance patients that come in, new patients getting brought back. You just kind of go help where the department needs you. So um, it was a pretty busy, busy Tuesday. Usually Mondays and Tuesdays are like the busiest days in the ER, I feel like, at least for just like medical sick reasons. Um, so yeah, that was good. I came home last night. Um, Colin was off, so he made us some dinner. We had um, some baked chicken and mac and cheese. We just watched some TV, and I went to bed by like 10.30, and then I woke up today around 8 or so. So that was nice. Got to have a good amount of sleep. Um, this morning, I just ate some breakfast, drank some coffee, sat on the couch, and relaxed and got my grocery list together. I'm gonna make some lasagna soup tonight in the crock pot, so I'm really excited to try that. Um, but right now, I'm gonna go to the gym, just walk on the treadmill for a while, maybe do a little bit upper body, and then I plan on going to Barnes & Noble. I really want to start Throne of Glass. Um, I finished Akatar several years ago, but I've heard the best order to read the um, Sarah J Mass books is Akatar, Throne of Glass, and then Crescent City. So I want to um, get Throne of Glass. I have the actual book, Throne of Glass, but 
Everyone that I've talked to says that if you read Assassin's Blade first, it just kind of helps the story flow better. So I want to go get Assassin's Blade and hopefully start that maybe this week or next week. I'm in the middle of um, some books right now, so we'll see if I want to actually continue them or if I want to stop and move on to um, starting Throne of Glass. So we'll see. And then after that, we're going to go to the grocery store, get some food, and then come home. I will start making that. Um, I need to edit a YouTube video today, so I will do that. Make dinner, relax, take a nice hot shower, maybe do a face mask and relax. And then I have um, urgent care tomorrow and Friday. So um, let's go to the gym and then I will catch you guys at Barnes & Noble. Workout is done. I am a sweaty mess. I did the 12, 3.30 on the treadmill. And then I did a little bit of upper body. I just did some like bicep curls, triceps, and a little bit of like some shoulder presses. And that was it. And then um, the good thing about working out at Equinox, I, that's where I work out at, is they have all the Kiehl's products in their bathrooms. And so it's like a bougie way to like refresh your face and that kind of stuff. So I literally just like wash my face and put on some lotion. I like to wash the sweat off my face because I feel like if I don't and I wait till the night time that my face like breaks out. So. I did that, so that was nice, and then I got myself a little treat. I got myself a protein smoothie. This is the, um, uh, this is from Macho Mama. This is the protein smoothie, strawberry, banana, peanut butter, and protein powder. So, a little protein for myself for after my workout, but now it's time to head to Barnes and Noble to get my books. I will show you guys what I end up getting, and then I will go to the grocery store, and then we will go home. So let the fun part of the day begin. Let me give you guys a quick little grocery haul. I am making the viral lasagna soup in my crock pot tonight. So I got this Rouse Arrabbiata spicy marinara. Um, these are just some little uh, breakfast sandwiches to have for the next couple of days before clinical. They're really easy to heat up. I got two avocados, a white onion, some mild Italian sausage, uh, mozzarella cheese to go on top as well as this ricotta, and then diced tomatoes and some beef bone broth for extra protein as well as this um, non-fat Greek yogurt for more extra protein and then some yummy bread to go with it. I just got some lighters because we're out and then my boyfriend is a big fiend of having sweet tea or well unsweet tea and regular lemonade to make a little Arma Palmer for when he works. So yeah, little grocery haul there for you guys. I'm excited to see how that lasagna soup tastes. Okay, so y'all know that I went to Barnes & Noble. Please excuse my appearance. I have not done anything with my hair after the gym. Um, so I went to Barnes & Noble to get Assassin's Blade, but they were out of it in the paperback form. So I'm going to order that on Amazon today. Hopefully that comes in in the next couple of days. But I did have a gift card, so I did go ahead and buy book two, which is Crown of Midnight, um, because I'm planning on doing Assassin's Blade first, then Front of Glass, and then start to uh, keep going in the series. So Crown of Midnight is the next book after Throne of Glass. And because I had a gift card, I went ahead and bought um, The Nanny by Lana Ferguson. This apparently is like a cute little rom-com spicy book about a girl who does OnlyFans and then starts babysitting for some guy and that guy is like her number one fan on OnlyFans or something like that. So seemed pretty cute and fun. And then I got this cute little um, tarot card sticker book. Um, whenever I do my journaling and I pull tarot cards, I like to write down what cards I pull for that day. So this is literally just like stickers of the cards. And it says it has 32 complete sets of all 78 cards. That way it's just easy for me to flip through, peel a sticker off, and stick it in my journal. So that's the haul. Um, I already showed you guys my groceries, but um, I think now I'm going to put everything away. And then I'm going to walk to the nail salon to get my toes done and get my eyebrows waxed because it's about 2.51 right now. I kind of want to get that done before rush hour traffic and um, or just like people getting off work going to the nails done because I, I just walked there so I don't worry about driving. But anyways, let me get everything put away and then I will um, see you guys at the nail salon.
Okay, it is the night time now. I, I got home from the grocery store, I packed everything, I showed you guys that, and I made the lasagna soup in the crock pot that was brewing on high for the last three hours. And now I just added in the um, noodles, ricotta cheese, parmesan, that kind of stuff, let that cook. And then now it's ready, so I'm excited to try it. Um, but I wanted to show you guys that it's from the Lexus Hadel Instagram. I'll, I'll link it down below, that way you guys have it. This is the recipe that I followed. Um, the only thing that I changed was um, she added ground beef to hers, but I used Italian sausage. And then um, she used the kettle and fire bone broth, but I couldn't find the large um, like bottle of that at Kroger. And so I just used the um, Simple Truth brand. Um, so we'll see how it tastes. I'm really excited. I'm super hungry, um, but um, after I got that going, I took a shower. That took the everything shower, so I'm nice and relaxed and clean. And then I edited my YouTube video that is currently exporting right now. I was working on putting all the links together. That's my um, everyday makeup routine, little get ready with me video. I'm excited for that. That was kind of really, really fun to film. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to literally just relax and eat my uh, lasagna soup, watch some YouTube. It is almost 8 o'clock right now, so I need to get eating and relaxing and then get to bed because I got to get up tomorrow for urgent care clinical. But let me show you what the soup looks like. Here she is in all of her glory. Looks pretty good. So I will give it a taste and I'll let you know how it is. For you to save some money, so I got a horn. Hi everybody, it has been a little bit since I have chatted with you guys and the last time that I picked up the camera and vlogged was Wednesday night when I made my lasagna soup. It is now Friday night. Um, I did my two urgent care clinical shifts. Um, yesterday was good, today was good. Um, I got home around 8.30 or so tonight. Um, I'm really, really tired, but I'm really glad to be off for the next couple of days to just relax, read, recoup, do laundry, just do all the things I want to do for myself. Um, but yeah, the last two days were great in the urgent care. Um, I didn't really get to do anything that cool though. A bunch of x-ray interpretations though, and splint placements and that kind of stuff. Um, but nothing really exciting. I didn't do any sort of suturing or anything like that. Um, I did digital block one person though. Um, this week but yeah nothing exciting in that aspect of being hands-on doing anything but it was still um, great to see a lot of patients and learn more about prescribing meds and just a bunch of different stuff you see so many things like one day it was like a bunch of eye stuff it was all conjunctivitis and then today was a bunch of weird patients like it's just like off the wall I'm not sure what was in the water today for this Friday but everyone was coming in for weird things and they all just were just something else but anyways i thought i was getting away from that from you know leaving the er and becoming a nurse practitioner uh but no there's still going to be some um odd folks in the world uh but anyways um they're fun to deal with but uh yeah so i'm excited to be home and i am currently sitting on the couch relaxing i just took a body shower i did all my skincare um, and I'm currently sitting here. I'm going to start um, reading on my Kindle. This is Battle King by Jillian Frost. This is the fourth book, I believe, in a series. Yes, Prince of Series, Prince of Devil, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, book four. This is the last book in the series, I believe. Um, it's about this, like, um, mafia people, and it's, like, one girl, four guys. So if that's, like, not your thing, this you will not like the series. Um, it can be a little odd sometimes, um, but I'm really just reading it for the spice, to be honest. And this is the last book in the series, and I really just want to finish it, and it's only, like, 160 pages. So I'm going to try to power through that, read some tonight, and probably finish it tomorrow. And then I cannot wait to start Throne of Glass. I got my Assassin's Blade book in the mail yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Um, so I'm excited to start reading that and get into that world. But anyways, I wanted to just hop on here, wrap this vlog up. Um, this is kind of the week of my life. I had three urgent care shifts, one shift working in the ER, and I had the next couple of days off to relax and reset. Um, I am planning on filming a video this weekend um, showing you what I got at the Sephora savings event. I got a lot of things. Um, I need to be on a like no spending restriction um, after the new year because obviously Christmas is coming. I have to buy presents for everybody. But after the new year, I'm going to be much more financially responsible 
and not spend a million dollars at Sephora at the savings sale. But anyways, I'm going to film that sometime this weekend, so stay tuned for that video. But anyways, thank y'all again so much for clicking on my videos and watching my videos. I hope you guys like this kind of content. Um, it's fun doing a little week of my life and so just kind of talking to you guys about life as an NP student, how I navigate that. And uh, these NP student vlogs will be coming to an end here shortly because next week is my last week of NP clinicals. And then you'll look forward to the vlogs of studying for boards, passing boards, graduating, and then my videos will eventually turn into week in the life as a nurse practitioner. So that is kind of crazy to say. Anyways, I am like tired and delirious. I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here. Again, thank y'all so much. Feel free to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.